People might love it, people might hate it, but I'm gonna pick some of these up too. With the street tail, uh, extremely similar to, as I've got them in hand and I've been with this tiny little. What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. Today, we got a little unbagging, unboxing. I got a box in from Bass Pro Shop, a bunch of the Rapala lures, the new plastics and stuff, got some other ones. Then I hit up my local fin and feather store um, because I was in looking at some kayaks. Didn't get one yet, but got some new lures, some older lures, some colors that I had never seen before. Just kind of a mix of stuff. So today, good old fashioned unboxing. Let's take a closer look. All right, let's start off with the Bass Pro Shop unboxing. I had a Bass Pro gift card. I haven't shopped over there forever. So I looked online, they had some good sales. Grabbed a couple of these, the Rapala jerk baits. Um, I grabbed a couple of these a while back. I uh, wanted a couple different colors. So I grabbed a couple of the little bit more transparent see-through. The ones I had before were pretty opaque. So good looking uh, jerk bait. I've heard some people really liking them. They do come with the red line hooks on them. Um, it's a good, you know, simple profile to it. Nothing too crazy or different out there, but you know, Rapala does make some good hard baits, so I wanted to grab a couple of those. Those aren't super new or anything. Now, these are new to me. I don't know how long, like I said, I have not been over to Bass Pro in, gosh, I don't know how long. It looks like they've got a few new hard baits out there in the new red and black packaging, which I really like. I got some of the jerk baits. Um, I think I got some of the plus ones and then just some of the regulars. These are 3 8 ounce with only size 8 hooks, so little hooks on it. Dives down to 7 feet. So I like this. I like those kind of 7 foot divers. Something to get down just a little bit deeper. That's a good color. Clear AU. And they are suspending perfect for this cold weather this time of year. Comment below and let me know if y'all have used any of these. Like I said, I don't know exactly how new these are, but they're completely new to me. I really like that one. It's like a Table Rock. Ah, it's like I know my color is Table Rock Shad. I like it. And this is the shallower diver. You can still see the 3 8 ounce, but only dives to 5 foot there. Really like the look of that one. I like the oversized eyes on them. I'm a big uh, like eye fan, the, the large eyes on baits. This is kind of a pink, yellow belly. Albino, oh, it makes sense with the red eye there. I like the attention to detail. And then kind of your Northern Lights special color, that purplish blue up top, chartreuse belly. It's got the clear kind of bone pattern on the side of it. They call this one Exo Shad. So some good looking uh, jerk baits. I saw they had some other square bills and stuff. I don't know, like I said, comment below and let me know if you've used any of these. I'm excited to give the jerk baits a try. Now, along with those, I did see they had some new swim jigs and I rigged one up here and you're gonna see because this is a, a paddle tail that's uh, a little new to the market. People might love it, people might hate it, but I like these swim jigs because they're a pretty normal wire hook. So it's not overly heavy, it's not super thin, you know, not like a finesse swim jig. Kind of your do it all, which is what I like here kind of in the Midwest. I'm not fishing, you know, Okeechobee with the super crazy dense stuff, but we do have some spots here that are pretty heavy grass. So kind of this mid wire hook I like. This is the black and blue color. Uh, the head of it looks pretty good there, you can see. Pointed there with the vertical line tie to come through the grass and vegetation and everything. Good brush guard on it, not super thin, but not super thick either. Um, yeah, I like the look of it. Good old black and blue. I also got their bluegill color. Some orange on the chin there, some orangish eyes, I like that. Another black and blue, I grabbed a couple of those and I grabbed a couple of these, this white, you can see it's got like a pinkish kind of blue iridescence, not sure how well that's gonna come through there. What is this color? Uh, I don't know the color, but 3 eighths, they also had a half ounce. These would be good to use this year. Excited to see how these work out. Okay, so since I was talking about these swim baits, let's get over to these. I feel like these are either gonna be love or hate for everybody. You can see all this Crush City stuff back here. Last year they came out, um, Rapala that is, came out with their own line of plastics, which is unheard of because you know they never had any plastics. They were all kind of the hard bait stuff. Um, so with these, this is called the Mayor. They have a couple different sizes. I've got the three inch here, which is what I have rigged up on this swim bait. You can see it's got just a little small dorsal fin there with a little tiny slot where the hook comes through. The belly of it is slit, so you know if you're running this on like an underspin or an underbelly, like a monster type hook, uh, owner, you know, weedless type hook, um, that is cut in there to help get a better hookup ratio. Tail has just a little tiny spike. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a stabilizer or if it'll even do anything. I have no idea, but yeah, the swim baits look good. This is a great, really good natural color, which is this one here. Pro Blue Red Pearl. Um, I'm really liking the look of that one. Just threw it on here so you guys could see what it looks like on a jig. Also in the three inch, the Gizzard Shad. It does have some good sparkle flake in it there. Good natural looking color. I also got the three inch green shad, a little bit more transparent, a little bit you know cleaner water, really good natural look to that one. I really like those shiner type, um, like the shiner color in Reaction Innovations where it's kind of the white pearly building. It's got this like light brown kind of tan top. That color around here does amazing. It can mimic you know all kinds of minnows. So 
the mayor in the three inch. And then I also got, oh, whoops, sorry. And also got the three inch in the uh, sight flash, kind of your white ice, white with the clear sparkly belly. Um, also grabbed a couple of the larger ones. So this is the albino pearl. Uh, four inch. I think they might have one other size. I'll link them below so you can check them out. Um, all this, of course, will be linked over at Tackle Warehouse because I am partnered up with them. But if you find deals anywhere else, uh, by certainly all means, go check them out uh, where you like. But anytime you do use my links at Tackle Warehouse, a little bit of that comes back to me to help out me and the channel. So I appreciate that. Uh, I like the looks of these. You know, a number of different ways you could use these. This is the black and blue green pumpkin. So again, going back to like Reaction Innovations, their tramp stamp color or in missile baits, I think it's the Superbug. That kind of dual tone laminate color. I'm a big fan of those. There you can see a little bit better. Kind of a half and half. So we'll see how these do. I think they'll be a good trailer. Um, just rigging like one of these up. I think this four inch will be good on like a little ball head uh, this time of year. So we'll see if we can get something on those. I like them. Uh, and I got, let's see, only one pack of these, man. They were out, out, out. And a lot of people have asked me to pick some of these up to try. The Ned BLT. Now with this one, I think it's the only plastic in the lineup that is essentially um, like an Elaztec. So it's the same elaztec -y type material, super stretchy. This is the copper truce color. What do they call it? Oh, yeah, same copper truce. So your chartreuse -y green belly with the top that's kind of a dark brownish green pumpkin with that orange flake in it. Great color in the Z-Man stuff, so I decided to try them in these. And uh, at Fin and Feather, I found these, which are the little swinging Ned Rig heads. So I grabbed some of these from VMC, a little eighth ounce to give it a try. And the whole deal with these is it's supposed to let the plastic float back here by its own. So instead of having this all one piece where it would you know, fall and potentially fall over, this would have to be super buoyant to raise um, you know, like a regular jig head. I don't know to what weight, you know, when you start losing that buoyancy, but the whole thought process behind this is the head falls down and hits and this plastic back here just rigged on the hook is light enough it can stand up on its own. I've caught fish both ways with floating plastics, without floating plastics on a Ned rig. I don't know that it makes a crap ton of difference. Oh, uh, we'll test it out there. They're cool. That's what I do here on the channel. Test out stuff and give you my opinion. Take it or leave it. Uh, that's how it is. So we'll give these a go. They're a cool looking little Ned rig. I don't know. We'll see how they do. Then also grabbed a couple pack of these. I think I got some in like 3 16 or a quarter ounce too for a little bit deeper or uh, if we have some current. Okay, continuing on here to this one. Man, this one is all the talk right now. If you haven't heard about the freeloader and forward facing sonar and professional bass fishing and all this stuff, a lot of these do nothing straight tail. Actually, I'm gonna grab one of these. They come in a little tiny clamshell here, which is nice because it keeps everything straight. Like clamshells or not, as somebody who does a bunch of bank angling, throwing stuff in your bag, they can get messed up. So I know they're not the most convenient, but they keep them nice and straight. Look at the tail on that thing. A bunch of these straight tail lures um, coming out now for the forward facing sonar, which is, where's my stuff? Right here is one I've showed you before, like this little forward facing sonar minnow, putting it on just a jig head and initially, you know, vertically fishing this over them. Now there are some, you know, retrieves, getting it over them, just barely shaking it back. There's a whole bunch of, you know, hover rigging, mopping, you demiki rig, a whole bunch of different names for it, but essentially vertical rigging or keeping this just above the fish um, as you see it. Uh, and it's this straight tail kind of do nothing presentation. Dustin Connell, uh, freeloader, just one red crest with it. Uh, Jacob Wheeler is using like the smaller one. I think it's only been released in Canada or something. It's another um, Rapala Crush City deal. But this is the freeloader. All the talk right now. Now, I will try to do some of that from the bank. You know, it doesn't work as well for me. I've kind of tried some of that stuff in the past. We'll give it another go, though, with all the, the rage being the, you know, this vertical type fishing. But... I see multiple other good uses for these. You can use it for that, but I got uh, a chatterbait. They have these on sale at uh, my local shop. I ordered these a couple weeks ago, and it's, you know, again, because all the tournaments are being won on this type of thing, and especially with, uh, you know, Wheeler and Connell kind of putting the hurt on them for, uh, for Apollo, a lot of these are sold out everywhere. Hard to get, you know, it's kind of like the whole flatworm debacle back uh, last year, a couple years ago, two, three years ago, whenever that was, you couldn't find them anywhere. Kind of the same deal with these freeloaders, kind of hard to find. So I was thinking, you know, pick some of these up. And with this straight tail, with the fluke, I've told you all before, I love using a fluke on chatterbaits. The deal with the fluke is I like to bite just the head of it off, though, make it a little bit more compact. 
You don't have to, but that's normally what I do. And with the belly being slit so far back, they just don't last very long in a chatterbait. You have to keep them um, changed out quite often. With this having a, you know, the, the solid front end, and there's a number of these like the Z-Man Chatter Spike, you know, a number of different ones like this on the market. These just hold up better. And this is the new Chatterbait Evo. Good looking Chatterbait at that $10 price range. If you haven't seen them before, check them out. I've kind of unboxed some of these before. But with this straight tail thing, I think it's going to be a killer vibrating jig trailer um, on the back of a spinner bait to give it bulk if you need a little bit of more weight or you just want to add more presence in the water, more water displacement. Now, these are not the super stretchy elastic. Like I said, that was just those Ned BLTs. But I can see a number of different uses for, you know, some of these straight tail things coming out, not just necessarily, you know, the vertical fishing. So we'll see how these do. I think it's a really cool plastic with a ton of movement. I mean, you just barely move that and look at how much movement is in that tail. So we'll see how those do. This is the white and chartreuse. That first all white one that I showed you, the sight flash. So again, your white top with kind of the sparkly belly. This is their sun gill. So it can easily mimic a blue gill or even like a perch type color. You could take some orange like spike it marker and put some orange on it. Good looking one. Then also got that black and blue again. I got these for my black, uh, black and blue or the green pumpkin chatterbaits. I really like those. Again, those dual tones, big fan of the laminate colors. And then this one, kind of the color that does great around here, that gizzard shad, that kind of natural, you know, bottom with kind of a tan. This is more of a black, almost gray um, with flake in it, but good mimic profile or uh, mimic, blah, 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 blah. good minnow color profile. I think that should do well around here as well. So uh, the new freeloader, a lot of talk on that one. Now, speaking of something with a lot of talk, I wasn't even going to get these because I'm like, oh man, it was all the deal. Apparently this is uh, extremely similar to uh, like an OSP lure I've never used. Um, a lot of that stuff is just, you know, so crazy price and you can never find it. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into all that with it, but I ended up getting them because they were there. It does have a cool look to it. Underwater, I'll try to get some underwater footage of these this year. The whole deal with it is as it falls, it has this like these clubs here with a very thin piece of plastic keeping them together. Now, I'm sure these are going to rip up super easy, like if it just bites the claws. But the whole deal to it is it has this like kind of dolphin-y kick to it supposed to be all the rage uh, again i'm not going to get into the whole politics of is this an exact copy or not i'm going to show it for what it is and use it uh, i think on a, a texas rig could look cool now will it be any better than like my rage cross and stuff i don't know if it's enough of a different look we'll see but had to get some of course that's the black and blue this is the bama bug which i love like your june bug purple on one side green pumpkin of the other i absolutely love that color tone when companies do that and then just your regular old candy bug which is essentially just your june bug color dark purple with your purpley uh, and green flake in it so they look cool how will they do i don't know like i said I almost didn't get them i'm sure i'll get twenty thousand dislikes because i bought them but what do you do okay next up the cleanup craw and i'll be honest uh this is probably the least interested i was out of all these when i was you know looking at them through icast and now to pick up some i'm like yeah so what it's another craw deal as I've got them in hand and I've been looking at them, put them on different things, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. It's a cool little small craw, so if you can see there, a little three inch craw there. Uh, it's got the feet here, kind of like your rage craw that's got the flanges. I noticed they're offset though, it's not straight. One's back end farther than the other. I don't know how much of a kicking difference that'll make. Still have should have a good, you know, quick flap to it. But again, this is that Bama bug, and I freaking love this color. They nailed this, that kind of June bug belly, green pumpkin top. I wish it would have been the other way around, but I took some of these, just kind of tested them out. I was throwing around the other day, and they do look dang good. This is, uh, is that on the back of a War Eagle heavy finesse jig. I cut maybe, I don't know, half an inch off the front of it just to make it a little more compact. Oh, man, doesn't that thing look juicy? Good golly. So I think that's going to be a really cool crawl. Like I said, I wasn't really, eh could care less but once i've got them um i think that's kind of neat good compact little finesse texas rig deal again that's the uh, the candy bug color there basically your purpley june bug as you can tell i'm a big fan of that one black and blue again black on one side your blue sparkly glitter on the other side and then the all natural around here that i like that green pumpkin uh, blue pearl or your blue craw it's got that green pumpkin with blue swirls and kind of a light blue belly our craws around here have that light blue almost kind of a tealish green on the bottom of them so good natural uh, color match so that's off these let's get to the uh, the fin and feather bag let me clean this up
Okay, some of them are just restocks, nothing special here, the old fluke. Like, see what I mean? In the bag, in the tackle bag, these are going to get all kinked. So, I try to keep those nice and straight, but always need some flukes. I got some Howie's Tackle Tubes. Again, I've wanted to try the tubes more this year, specifically the Stupid Tube. Um, and I think this is going to be a perfect size, and I like that it was the green pumpkin with, ooh, a little bit of that Junebug tail. This one also pretty spicy looking. Look at that, the green pumpkin top. Some blue sparkling, and oh my goodness, look at that. What color do they call this? Okeechobee Gobi. Rolls right off the tongue. That blue sparkle belly, kind of, they must have done like a clear blue dip on the bottom of that. But yeah, good looking tubes. Never heard of this company. I don't know if they're small. Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, it says there. Oh my gosh, they're badgers. Oh, there's some more of those heads I was telling you about. I uh, grabbed a couple packages of those. Also grabbed some more of these Great Lakes Finesse heads. Now these little round ball heads, they make it for like their craws and a lot of the new Great Lake Finesse stuff. Y'all have seen, there's been a, a ton of videos recently, people showing the new stuff they've uh, released out. But these ball heads are really, really nice because they have a super sharp Gamagatsu hook. And this is also a new find. So the Shiver Shot Reaction Innovations, like I said, y'all know I'm a huge fan of the RI stuff. Uh, they have this little 3.65 Shiver Shot in the poutine color. Never ever seen this before. I grabbed a couple bags. It's this kind of green pumpkin with a almost like pinkish belly. Kind of looks like a goby slash minnow. Some flake all over in it. The deals with these, it's this fish type body with this tiny little section here to give this tail all kinds of movement. Look at that. All sorts of movement on this. You could put it on like a little chatterbait. You could put it on a jig head like this, which is what I'm gonna try. Some of the ponds and stuff around here. Swimming it around, you know, one of those do nothing vertical rigging type baits. And look, it's got the little, it's got the little side fins there. I wonder if those kind of pop out and move as you you jerk this around. You know, pop. It looks like it's swimming. Cool. Yeah, a little shiver shot. Uh, I think I have some larger ones of these. Not these little tiny ones, especially not any in the poutine color. So yeah, these jig heads, super duper sharp. If you've not seen any of these before, like I said, it goes with their Great Lakes finesse stuff. But I think those are a great all around uh, jig head. Uh, nothing special here. I grabbed a pack of these. Uh, I do like the sexy shad color in that four inch easy shiner. So they had those. Like I said, I had a gift card over there for a hundred bucks. So spending what I could. Uh, and oh my gosh, I saved the best for last. Culprit. Culprit used to be huge back in the day, man, when everybody was fishing worms. Um, so this is nothing new. 7.5 inch culprit worm, but it's in grape shad. I am embarrassed to admit that I have never seen this color in culprit. I love like the, the black bear, the grape, you know, the real dark purple colors of course tequila sunrise which isn't this purple but you know the kind of purpley hazish looking colors i've never seen this and man i am 100 percent sure i will be able to catch fish on this ribbon tail worm in the summer flipping it around wood fine wood pitch to wood catch fish on a worm specifically black and purple worms so comment below let me know out of all these which one was your favorite some some purple worms some new bass pro goodies maybe the cool and controversial crush city stuff i don't know comment below and let me know which was your favorite now subscribe fishing friend gotta be my guy white unicorn fishing for 35 years bought a bait caster recently and you're my teacher he said love the channel listen i can't tell you all enough how much i appreciate you all continuing to support me some from my old videos that were awful, which funny enough are some of my most popular teaching people how to use a bait caster, tying knots, line video, all this different stuff, and still folks are supporting me. Um, I know the videos have been a little sparse. Like I've, I've been saying, I've been trying to keep my butt into gear here, keep the videos going because gosh darn it, I wanna keep growing. Last year definitely slowed down a lot for me. I wasn't putting out a lot of content. So I do really wanna make it known that I appreciate the heck out of you all, uh, the people that still support me. It means a ton to me. So definitely more videos coming. I was able to get out and fish again another fun video coming so that's enough for me gotta edit thanks for watching and until next time